Welcome to this podcast where I'm going to show you how to download an mp3 audio file to your computer and then transfer it to your mobile device, in this case an iPad um, or an iPod, works the same way. Right now I'm on a website. What I've done is Googled Huck Finn Audio Free. Um, I've also used mp3 in my search before, but I found this wonderful site at www.loudlit.org slash works slash hfin.htm um, and it has all the chapters broken down in their mp3s. I know these files are mp3s because as I mouse over each of these chapters if you look down below at the bottom of my web browser it tells me at the end that it's at .mp3. .mp3 is an audio file that my iPod can take. So I I want to download these. Now you can also, they're meant to be listened to right here on the web. If I click on that, it will take me to a window and, and start downloading it. Now I can't notice save from here. I'm going to go back and show you how to download this mp3 to your computer instead of listen on your computer. So let's go back. Now you're going to want to, right now I'm on my Mac, um, I want to do what would emulate a right click on your Windows. If I do a control click or if I click, if I'm on a touchpad with two fingers close together, I'm going to get this menu up. Now what we want to do is download download linked file as all right I want to do that because I want to have control over where I save it I want to put it on my desktop now the one thing I do like to do if you don't see this whole um, infrastructure or indexing here you'll want to click this arrow because you want to make a new folder we're going to download all these chapters so I want to organize them somehow so I'm just going to put Huck Finn create and I did put that on my desktop so that it's easy to find. The next thing that you want to pay attention to when you are saving these files is that the name of the file is organized somehow. Now I know that this is chapter 3 here um, and that all the others are going to have to be named kind of accordingly. I don't need this text here so I'm going to delete it. The smaller the better because when they view the file on the iPod they're going to see it indexed according to number. So I'm just going to want to kind of take note that yes it does say the name of the book which is important and also what chapter it is and I want to stay with that formatting as I continue to download and then I click Save. Let's go ahead and go through it one more time and notice the download is done. I'm going to come over here, Chapter 4, going to Control click or Two Finger click on my mouse, Download Linked File As, make sure it's in my HuckFin folder and that I want to come in and take this text part off of the end of this. It's not necessary. But I do want to make sure I leave the MP3 there. And I click Save. And then I go through that with the rest of them. Join me back here in a little bit where I hook up with iTunes and show you how to put it on your iPad or iPod. Oh, before I go on to iTunes, I want to point out, notice that website I went to? Take a look at its licensing for copyright. It is CC, which is for Creative Commons, which we have been talking about, that you have to give attribution or credit to them, and you can only use it for non-commercial, no derivatives, which means you cannot um, change it. You just can download it and use it as is. But isn't it wonderful? It says to listen or download, you're free to use it for educational purposes. That's really great. Okay, join me back here for iTunes. Alright, now that we're in iTunes, let me show you around the things that you're going to need to know about. Now, I have my iPad hooked up. That's under Devices. I have all my things listed here that are stored. If you don't see them, there's this little arrow that you can click and it will toggle it to open it up. Now, the first thing I need to do, though, is bring those audio MP3s into my library in iTunes. And that needs to go under this area. So I need to start up here at File and I need to go to Add to Library. I need to maneuver to where I downloaded those. Um, if you did the file Save As, I find my Huck Finn folder and I open it.
And now I want to select all of these. Now there's a number of ways you can do it. You can click inside here and Command A if you're on your Mac, Control A if you're on your Windows, or you can also click on one, hold your Shift key down and click on the last one. It will select all of them um, for you. Once you have all of them chose, now you can do them one at a time, but this is just a faster way to do it. But once they're done, you click on Choose and it brings it into your library. Let's go find them. Now I look under music even though it's not music. It is a music file. It is an mp3. So you'll notice here I have right here Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. It already kind of put it in a category for me which is really great. I'm going to um, expand mine here so that you can see also that since I named them with a typical numbering system they did come in as three four five or in order now how do I get them to my iPad or iPod first thing I do like to do is make a playlist when it is a book that way it's easier for me to drag so I come up here to file again and I click on new playlist what this lets me do is basically put it in a folder so I'm just going to put Huck Finn once I get that done, I come back up to my library, click in music. I'm going to select this entire so section. So I'm going to click on one, hold my shift key down and click on the last one. And then I scroll down over here on my left so that I can see that playlist that I just created, Huck Finn Audio. Come back up here. I'm not going to click on that yet. I just want to be able to see it. And I click and hold on one of the items and notice when I'm dragging it it says three and drag it on top of Huckfin Audio let up and all that does is put it in a nice easy playlist for me this is really helpful if I'm going to be storing it on multiple devices now to get it to the device it's really simple I just click and hold on this playlist and drag it right up on top of the device and it syncs it puts it on there and we're good to go it only took a few seconds so I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Um, please watch again. If you have any questions, please email me.